All right. So if you didn't know, I'm actually back on the job market. But let's talk about um, some tips and tricks for the job hunt. So one of the most important things and the reason that I'm making this video is to encourage everyone to kind of build up um, a type of support group on your job hunt. And um, the main point here is that you don't want a job hunt alone. Right. You don't want to be coming through Indeed and, you know, LinkedIn jobs every day, totally on your own. Um, you want to take advantage of all these resources around you. And I realize that globally, some of these things that I'm going to say might not be applicable or might not be possible. But for most of us, I do believe that we can build our own support group and we can find people that can help us regardless of where you are and regardless of whether you're a self-taught dev, inspiring dev, you know, or you've already had work experience or not. So the most important thing to do in the job hunt is networking. Right. But networking in and of itself is kind of like a convoluted uh, word. It's kind of become like confusing what that actually means. So um, concrete steps you can take. Start going to coding meetups. OK, at least once a month, preferably once a week. You need to be touching base with people that know you're looking for a job um, that can kind of have like an understanding of what you do, you know, like what coding languages you use, um, the tech stack you want to work in, places you want to work, things like that. And also going to meetups, it gives you a sense of belonging. It gives you a sense of momentum. And I think that we don't talk about that enough because the coding journey, you know, the job hunt journey, it's very, it, it can feel very lonely. You can feel very isolated. And if you spend too much time with yourself during this process, um, you're more than likely to give up on the job hunt and, you know, stay complacent in whatever you were doing before. So that's the first thing is get out to meetups. You know, I know COVID's going on, so virtually, preferably, <laughs> but at least once a month, or if you can pull it, if you can do this once a week, if you can do more than that, you know, two or three meetups a week, that's even better because you need to get around other developers. You need to get around recruiters. You need to get around people that know the job market in your area. Right. Because I can give you all this advice, but it's not contextual to where you live. It's not contextual to the job market. You need to be speaking to people that know what they're talking about and live in the city that you live in. Now, the second thing that you need is, you know, kind of like a round table. Um, so you should always have like three to four or five to six people that you can reach out to with questions. For example, um, you know, I actually got like a job hunting course from, uh, someone that used to be, um, I forget what their job position was, but they worked at the boot camp that I went to. His name's Jason Humphrey. And, uh, I stayed in touch with him on LinkedIn. I think he's maybe moved on from thankful now, but he's still like a coach. So <laughs> that's my coach. Um, I can also talk to my wife who's like learning how to code about these things. I can talk to, um, a couple of people on LinkedIn that are employed and, you know, still on a job hunt like me. So again, you constantly need perspective because the job hunt for me, at least is very frustrating. Um, I, I, I couldn't deal with all the rejection. I couldn't deal with, you know, putting out applications and not hearing things back. All that stuff frustrated the shit out of me. So it's, it's super important that you have people to confide in, to talk to. Um, and, you know, ultimately what all this boils down to is like we're protecting our, our mental state. We're protecting our state of mind as developers because we're not going to do good in interviews and, you know, coding challenges if we're stressed out. Or, you know, we don't have anyone to talk to or we don't have anyone to go to for advice before the interview. Um, and that's super important. Now, the last thing that you want to think about um, when you're job hunting, especially in terms of building a support group, is when you go to these meetups, hopefully you're going to a meetup that's actually put on by an organization that is trying to help you. um with your professional development. So for example, here in Atlanta, I actually participate in uh, meetups for technologists of color, right? And they do like normal meetups, 
um, where we're just coding or, or just talking about things. They also have um, these kind of like weekend uh, classes that they call foundations. Unfortunately, I missed most of them, but, you know, I can go there. I can learn things. I can I can talk to people. And I basically have the assistance of an entire organization via a Slack channel now. So if I need resume feedback, you know, I don't have to post it on LinkedIn and post it to a bunch of people that don't really know me or what I'm about or what I'm trying to do. I can literally hop into that Slack channel, you know, post my resume and it might take a while. It might take a couple of days for anyone gets back to it. But I have gotten like valuable, valid feedback. So I wanted to keep this video pretty short. Um, don't ever job hunt alone, right? <laughs> if you feel like you're running out of out of steam or you're lacking the answers that you need to be successful in the job hunt, it's probably because you're you're trying to shoulder um, you know, too much of that responsibility on your own. It takes a village to get a job, pretty much, you know, especially when you're coming into the industry. So that's my two cents on on job hunting in general. Don't do it alone. Go to your meetups. Definitely, you know, build your your round table of support, whether that's friends, families, you know, people that you would consider uh, mentors. And last but not least, you know, try to align yourself with organizations local to you that will support your professional development, because there are organizations out there that want developers to get jobs, get promoted, you know, be able to negotiate higher salaries. Mm -hmm. All of those things like there, there are people out there that want to help you with this for free. And <laughs> that's, you know, that's their personal mission. That's their way of giving back to the tech industry. So never feel like you're alone out here. You're, you're not alone. If you feel alone, it's because you haven't looked hard enough. So good luck on the job hunt. Uh, I guess I'll be talking more about job hunt stuff since I'll be job hunting myself. But let me know what you think about this video. Let me know if there's anything that I may have um, skipped over or anything that you do. Until then, I'll see you later. Peace.